Hey everyone, it's Justin here. I wanted to hop on and do a latest haul video from the most recent package sent to me from scrapbook.com. And let's start with some glitter. I got six brand new glitter brushes sent to me. Look at all of these. And I wanted to go through them. We have a tan glitter brush. We have an orange juice glitter brush. We have, let me see, that's the green one. We've got a sunshine yellow. We've got coral, we've got royal purple, deep blue, key lime green, and then lastly, chocolate. So here is eight brand new glitter brushes. I have an idea for what I wanna start my projects with with this, and I think it's gonna be really cool to get it all over a piece of watercolor paper. So stay tuned for details on that. They also sent me this great little pouch that I can carry them in as well which of course is available through scrapbook.com. So put that off to the side. In addition, I have two other glitter brushes that I had set aside so I didn't confuse them with others just because it's blue and purple related. I have a frosty blue and I have a lavender color. So a total of 10 glitter brushes that they had sent me. I'm really super excited for that. Next, I did get this Howdy stamp set that they had sent to me. It looks like it's about a four by six. My measurements might not be fully exact. Um, let's see, if I pull it off to the side, yeah, it's about four. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just about a four by six. So that is the size of the stamp set. Lots of fun sentiments that are gonna be perfect for any sort of Western themed sort of crafting. Or the first thing that comes to mind with me is not so much Western, but there's a particular movie that came out this year that focuses around a certain doll and she wears an outfit that I feel like some of these sentiments are just gonna be so perfect with. So I'm very, very, very excited to use this stamp set. Next, I've got things that are a little bit more wintry and they all kind of coordinate together. So I have, let's start with my stamp set. I have a Hello Winter stamp set. It's got a handful of sentiments that says winter and wishes that you can use together. Cheers to a new year. Hello Winter, your friendship warms my heart. Stay cozy, happy new year, the best is yet to come. There's also images of a sweater, a polar bear, a fox, a snowflake, a little star that looks like an asterisk, a heart, and a little star. So we've got this stamp set. We also have this gingerbread cookies die set. That's gonna be a really fun way to create a project with a bunch of little gingerbread themed cookies. They typically, yep, they give you little ideas on the back of how to put everything together. Um, something like this, I think would be a great die set to have some double-sided adhesive with because a lot of these little bits and bobs are gonna be a little bit more intricate, which is not a problem. It's just something to be a little aware of in advance. So super excited for this. There's dies to make a Christmas cookie, a snowman cookie, a gingerbread man, a gingerbread lady, and a sentiment to say happy holidays. Then going along with that Winter Wishes stamp set, we do have the Winter Wishes die set as well. And I always like to start here, all the dies, we'll go over these in a second, but if you flip them over, you're gonna have enough dies to create your fox, your polar bear, your sweater, the little uh, snowflake star and asterisk uh, image I said previously, along with these three gifts. And I think you can get a lot of use just out of these little gifts alone. So here you have all the dies to create those with. Lastly, I do have a couple paper packs that I wanted to show you. I have, this is gonna be perfect for the Winter Wishes products, I mean, along with other ones, and it's the Winter Pattern Paper Collection. This is an A2 sized pack, and let me see. It's really carefully, I always like to be careful with these wafers, but what's great is with scrapbook.com, the way that they seal their paper packs, they're pretty low tax, so you never really have to worry about ripping any sort of the packaging. So we've got, for the Winter Pattern Paper Collection, We've got this really soft floral blend that's got sort of like sprucey blues, I would almost call it, with some creams and some whites. Um, super pretty. We've got these little, like, they almost look like plus signs on a tan background. Oh, this is gonna be so perfect for just an easy scene building card, especially if you had a little like die of Santa and his reindeer up here, that would be perfect. You've got a solid brown that's gonna coordinate with other browns in this pack. You've got another perfect little scene building area for like little 
they're little people in their little winter uh, scenes, building snowmen, enjoying time with family. A nice, simple white background with colors from this pack and little stars. We've got birds and polar bears. And this is going to be the same polar bear you're going to find in the stamp set and the die set. Uh, I love... I'm such a sucker for this color of gray. Actually, the walls in my house are about this color, to be quite honest with you. And we call it smoke embers. I almost called it metro gray, but there's a story behind that. It's not metro gray, it's smoke embers. Um, and this is about the color I just, oh, I adore it. It's perfect. It's soft. Love this gray. You got it with little white berries or with birch trees. We've got, let's see what else. I'm going the wrong way. We've got stripes and plaids. These are super fun. This is very, very vibrant. I love this pattern, but this is going to be perfect for a background of a card as well that's a little bit more soft. I think we're at the very end. We've got a darker gray that's like a wintry scene along with this gray color. I think that's, nope, we've got one more. This is also one of my favorites. I love this collection of colors right here. Super pretty. Love all these colors. We also got just a dark, solid gray color as well for you. So that's the winter pattern collection. And then for a little bit more color, and it's another paper pack. So excuse me while I take these little wafers off. There we go. We have a gingerbread pattern paper collection. So we're going from something super soft and just sort of like cozy wintry to something vibrant and cookie filled, which makes me super happy. So let's see what we got. We've got Easy card right here. Easy, easy card. Happy holidays. Trim it down to like a four by five and a quarter, and then you can mat it with another color on top of it. Super, super easy. I almost feel like inclined to do that. You could make, there's five different patterns in here, and if you don't need this color, use these five, pa uh, five pieces of paper and make yourself an easy collection of holiday cards. You could even, let me pull them out, you could even like put like two little like gingerbread people in the bottom. How easy would that be? A couple embellishments. You don't even need it. You could just make a card out of just this. You could literally take this and just post it to a card front and you're done. I love pattern paper like that. Easy cards are always one of my favorite things. But in addition, we also have that gingerbread sort of color on the back, which is going to get you a lot of use with those die cuts. Next, we have sort of those squiggles and then another gingerbread background. These are super cute. More gingerbread people along with the little gingerbread cookies of trees. This is so cute. I love that. I'm such a sucker for gingerbread during the holidays, y'all. We've got red and then just a nice ho, ho, ho. We've got more cookies. These are more of the snowman cookies along with little, oh my gosh, these are like little cookie jar snow globes. They're probably not snow globes, but they look like it. Could you imagine someone giving you a gift that's like a glass canister with a gingerbread house inside on like a little like snowy hill and it's got a pretty bow? That would be like the cutest thing. Also, what a cute like housewarming gift idea as well. If someone just bought a home during like this holiday season, go drop them off a new gingerbread home. Super, super cute. Even if it's only going to last them for the season, you're going to give them a pretty jar that they could use for decoration in the future. I'm going the wrong way once again. Oh, we're getting into some fun holiday colors. I love this color palette for the holidays. It is so, so vibrant, super fun. And then you've got the same colors on this side of the pap uh, paper. More cookies. We can't have enough gingerbread cookies. We've got little gifts. And then we've got over here, we have these snowmen with the trees and all the little ones with the green background. Happy holidays with like a pine green color. And that's going to close this one out. Love both of these. So, so very different. So, so very usable. Really excited to begin incorporating these into my creations. Like I said, utilize those pattern papers that have pre-made backgrounds for you that are going to make your card making super easy. If you haven't yet, check out the rub-on transfers by scrapbook.com. I'm not showing them in this video because they were I wasn't sent any. I'm trying to focus on what I was sent. Um, 
Those rub-on transfers are also items that you can add on top of pattern paper that can really jazz up your card easily. Um, and it's a great way to make simple projects that look professionally made. So let's go over really quickly what I was sent. We've got all of our little gel, not gel, glitter pens, more glitter pens. We've got our Howdy stamp set. And then we've got the Winter Wishes die set, the Gingerbread Pals, or Gingerbread Cookies die set, the Hello Winter uh, stamp set. Let's move it down just a little bit, my apologies. And then we've got our two pattern papers as well, the Gingerbread Pattern Collection and the Winter Pattern Collection. I'm in love with all of these. I love all of this winter vibes. I think this is so, so super cute. And I think you can find some really fun ways to pull all of this together. So thank you all so, so very much for stopping by for my quick haul video. I hope this leaves you with some inspiration for your scrapbook.com project and for some items to keep an eye on when they become available in the store, if not already. So thank you so very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.